are the advantage of factorial design number one is that because it's a true experimental design and because of its true experimental design it controls the threats to the internal validity due to the randomization or randomly assigned subjects the second is because we have two or more than two independent variables in factorial designs therefore we can find the main effect of the two variables simultaneously the next is it is useful in finding interaction of different combination of variables because there are different levels of independent variables so we can link the two independent variables and see how the different levels combined together influence the dv this is how we find the interaction level where we look at one independent variable and see how this independent variable is affected by the next independent variable and what kind of relation we can establish from this interaction so it provides more information than any other design one limitation of factorial design is that it is a difficult and complex design and why it is difficult and complex because we are dealing with two or more than two independent variables so when there are these different variables coming in the experiment so it is difficult for us to design such kind of experiment and again it's difficult for us to analyze the data and interpret the results that we get from the factorial design the second is that because of the complex nature of factorial design it requires proper planning and expertise to conduct such experiment we require professional or expert person to conduct such kind of experiment as it is not simple and easy experiment to conduct